See, because I was expecting a lot more inventory space. Uh, chocolate cake we can't get yet. Cocoa candy we can't get yet. Couple's cake. We could do that. I thought I broke this. Well, it's broken now. So we're giving a couple's cake with that snow bunny we got. And then we just need spicy soup. And like I said, uh, you could just do it with a horse tail. Although I do have the fire flower. I guess I could just use the fire flower because I might be able to use the horse tail for other recipes. We did need couples caked, I think, to make the zest, uh, our trials do. That's what you need it for. Because I think you need poison shroom and couples cake to get trials do. Also, this item sucks. It's just a gradual shroom they can't use on yourself. Uh, we can make a courage meal, I think. Do we actually have that courage shell? We do. So we need to make one of the zest foods. We could do a zest dinner. Zest dinner is going to be the easiest. We just need a mushroom. We do. Okay, so we got everything to make this. So we can just use a mushroom and uh, the horsetail. Should give us the uh, zest dinner. Which gives 10 HP, 10 FP, which is pretty good. So, not bad usage of mushrooms and horsetails. Because mushrooms are pretty cheap and the horse sales are free. And we do the dinner and a courage shell. It's going to give us courage. Uh, courage meal, but courage meal sucks. It just does four damage to a single enemy. Not good at all. Unless they changed it. And yeah, they didn't specify how much damage. It's four damage though. We can make egg bomb. That's something we can do. We can also make an electro pop. We just need a uh, volt shroom. Also make a volt pop. Okay. How much inventory space do I have? Okay. I think we can do something with a turtley leaf. I forget what though. Okay, let's get some honey syrup here. Gonna need another fire flower. Get some cake mixes. I think I need four. One for an electro pop, one for a fire pop. We need a honey candy. And then, I th oh, for the heartful cake. Let me get the uh, vulture.
Uh, let me see how many recipes I have done right now. We completed 18, okay. I guess honey candy is not bad because, uh, well, I guess this is the amount of FP you would get if you had both of them because cakes give you 15 FP and honey syrup gives you five. So it makes sense. It gives you 20. So I forgot to plus plus. Oh, we need to point swap that spike pouch. That way we can get our ruin powder. So we need to get the egg. I think we can use the egg in other recipes besides turning it into a bomb. Let me see what I'll need. So I can make an icicle pop. That just needs another uh, ice storm. I can make a jelly candy if I get another gem and jelly. We can make a- oh no, we can't make Koopa buns because we need those Keel mangoes. can make an omelette meal, so maybe I'll get two of those eggs. I'll also make a peach tart. Okay, let me go get some stuff. So I need to go to... Great tree to get two eggs. I can get an ice storm as well over there. Also, I want to see if you can make uh, easy life shrooms here. Because all you need to do is uh, point swap a poison shroom. Poison shroom, you can just point swap a slow shroom, which you can just buy in the underground store. Oh yeah, gotta talk to her. I'm not gonna have made this slower though. It's kind of annoying. Started a fight there. I 
If only this mover fella took you back to the entrance. I was thinking maybe I could buy some of these just to uh, see what recipes I can get out of them. I think that's kind of... I don't need it. Can you take me to the front? Unfortunately, you have to make the annoying trek back. I think one of the reasons they put this kind of out of the way is because it's one of the few shops in the game where you can actually go positive on items. Because uh, they sell... Any mushroom item sells for... Well, if you sell like an ultra shroom, normally it's 50 coins on sellback, but uh, there it's 75 coins, so you can make some more money back that way. It's also good too because if you can make easy uh, ultra shrooms in this version of the game, that's a really good way to make money. Just take a bunch of ultra shrooms there and you make 75 coins each. Because I think it's the total cost of everything to make an ultra shroom if it is allowed. Because you can do it in the Japanese version. Do I have to exit the tree and come back? It's usually if you exit the room and come back, she does it, but that's interesting. But yeah, I think all the costs associated with it is about 25 or maybe 30 coins. What? I have to leave the area? That's a <laughs> that's an annoying change. You should just be able to leave the room and come back in. Now if this doesn't work, I'm gonna be very upset. Cause I just want another egg, dang it, and she's the only one that offers those eggs. Also, I need to go to the uh, Twilight Town store, too, to get those Thunder Rages. Wow, you really have to go out of the area and reload it. That sucks. Pipes are just a little bit more annoying to be in this version. I don't know why. I think I'm just used to the way they are in the original game.
So first I'll check out if trial stew recipe has been altered to the Japanese version and is accessible here. And then I'll have to, if that one fails, I'm going to assume the ultra shroom recipe is also not a thing either. Oh, you know what I could have done? Because I think they sell these things for a little bit more at a Glitzville shop. Should have just went there because I do need the uh, point swap at in Glitzville. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, they did! They fucking did it! <laughs> they made trials too easier! Okay, that's good. So that means Ultra Shrooms are a thing then? And that's crazy, because then you can have as many Ultra Shrooms as you want, and as many Gem and Jellies, and uh, many, uh... What is it? Jelly Ultras as you want? That is amazing. Right, you can use a... I think it's a chartley leaf for the omelette. Let me make sure though. Omelette meal. No, I need another mushroom. Do I not have a mushroom on me? Oh man. Oh wait, do I have a fire flower on me? No, I don't. Okay, my bad. Okay, so I need a fire flower and a mushroom. I feel like I can get both of them over here. For a second, I was trying to remember what I wanted to make. Okay, um... Wow, oh man, I should've got that peachy... Peach in Twilight Town. It's another recipe I can still make. Uh... Can make a shroom bra. I just need to get one full shroom. And I do need to get one anyways for the... Ultra Shroom recipe. Okay. Forgot to press pot. Plus to skip all that. Oh well. Also, I need to use a uh, courage meal just so one to see if it actually just does four damage still, and to get rid of it because I don't want it. So let me go get the point swap. You need two point swaps, I think. I know, I think I just need the one. Because you need one on a slow shroom that turns. Because a point swap in a slow shroom makes a poison mushroom. And then I'll just buy two. Also, I didn't talk about it, but Trials 2, what it does is whoever uses it um let me sell some of the stuff i don't 
You need all this junk. I will keep the healthy salad because it's good FP recovery. Couples cake, uh... Oh, I guess to see if it's still ass as before. That's okay. Why is this so cheap? It's as good as a healthy salad, but I think it's better. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, so what it does is whoever takes it, HP goes to one, and I think FP goes to one as well, but it heals all your SP back to full. Mm, I'll store these things here. So I gotta need that egg bomb if I want to make a uh, zest dynamite later. Does he have anything new? Oh. Okay, well, <laughs> you know, speaking of me talking about poison mushrooms. It's kind of cool to talk about poison mushrooms. I guess because once you have access to double cooking, or cooking with two things is when you can get them. Okay. He just said, call me Frank. Ah. <laughs> I would much rather be called Frank than a Mario. Ten dollars for, or ten coins for a uh, peachy peach. Is it worth it? I don't know. I don't have to make this recipe ever again, that's for sure. Now I just need to go to the depot. You know, it's probably better if I go this way because I need to get the underground shop and it's a little annoying from the warp room to get that. Also, there's a, a funny recipe with point swaps, so if you have the triple gold bar item, you can point swap that and get the single gold bar item, but you can't do it the other way around. So if you ever want to lose a lot of money, just point swap a, a triple gold bar. Do I, I think I need a slow shrimp for something else, too. Oh, and if anybody's watching the video and wondering how the heck I, I know what all these recipes are, 
Uh, I made a app that you can go onto itch.io. Probably have it in the link in the description or something. Uh, I talked to it about in my other playthrough of this game in a hard mode Paper Mart. Paper Mart that's in your door. Uh, I, I made it so that uh, mostly for the recipes in this game because I always forget whenever I play the game what recipes are for what. And so I made like a little get uh, guide app that lets you check out what items are in the game, star pieces, shine sprites, cooking, badges, and all the tattles for enemies in the game. If you want to check it, just check that uh, link. Now we can point swap a poison shroom and a... Should give me an ultra shroom. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. The guy, that's fair. That would be crazy. <laughs> uh, but you can turn uh, Ultra Shrooms into Jam and Jellies if you need those more. You just point swap an Ultra Shroom. You can get uh, Ultra Shroom back if you just point swap that Jam and Jelly. Okay, well, that's fine there. You don't need to do that. But then, uh, I think the only other thing you would need a poison shroom for is trial stew, but now trial stew is easier, so that's fine. I was going to make, I think, shroom broth. That's what I need the ultra slow shroom for. Which, it, this is a weird recipe because it makes slow shroom worse. The slow shroom gives you HP from like nine turns, whereas this recipe that we're making, which is a shroom broth, you generate 2 HP for 5 turns, so you get less, and then you also get the soft status applied onto you. So, once again, it's the TTYD cooking system just sucking so much, because when you cook stuff, it doesn't always make it better. Sometimes it makes it worse than the stuff that you put into it. Uh, I don't know if I made a shroom cake. I guess I can make that. Do I have any other things I can make? Peachy peach. Okay, so I'm gonna need three cake mixes. Do I have any... Well, oh, this guy might have an Ultra Shroom. But let me check if I have a free Ultra Shroom that I stored. Okay, that saves me some money. Although it might be nice to just buy them from him. His money is not really a worry. Also, I need a shooting star. So let me get that. Should I buy the jam and jelly from him? Mm. I will need it for cooking later, so... It's fine. I would love to get some discounts from Charlton, but... I severely doubt that's ever going to be a thing. Accept my challenge. Oh, okay, so we get to finally fight him. Nice. That's cool. Can't wait. Let me just get all my cooking done first, though. Oh, I think I need one more, too, for the uh, jam and jelly candy. The jelly candy. Well, I'm all full on stuff now. And lots of cooking. 
But I mean, once I got access to it, I want to use it. Because I can only do so much cooking because I am limited on items from other areas. So. This is always my favorite part about Bug Fables, so just the cooking. As you get to new areas, the things you can make. So fun. And cooking in general is fun. I really like cooking it. Although I'm more like an amateur cook, if anything. I'm no aficionado. Or I'm no, like, fancy five-star chef. <laughs> Probably be like a two, three-star chef, maybe. Actually, no, not even then. Because I don't know all, all things about cooking. But what I do make is delicious to me, at least. And that's what matters. I thought I was pressing plus there, my bad. Well, it's pretty bad if you roll to sleep now, because with how OP sleep is now in this game. Uh... What did I do with the Ultra Shroom? Did I never pick it up? I thought I picked one up. Seriously, what did I do with that other Ultra Shroom? I'll have to look back on the recording. I assume I used it in a recipe for something, but I don't remember what. Wait, did I make the crepe? I, d I used it for the crepe. Okay, <laughs> my bad. I'm dumb. Um, I mean, there's probably other recipes I can use Ultra Shroom with, but... Actually, there is, but it might be a bit wasteful. Yeah, I can just use a sh Shroom Fry instead. We store this then. I think all you need is a mushroom for a shroom fry. Yeah. You can use a mushroom, a dried shroom, or poison shroom. Super Shroom, a Volt Shroom. And you can use some combinations of this of the two. Still need to make the jelly candy too. At least I'll be decked out with tons of cool food. That's a ridiculous amount of FP. And now we'll make that proper recipe this time. Alright, well let's do that fight then. Um, I need to swap around my patches. Let's get rid of these two. Let's do that layout, I guess. That way both me and my partner can do stuff. It's not 
uh, geared more towards me than my partner. See if Jolene says anything before we start that fight. I could wait, I could make a Zest Deluxe. Well, I don't really want to right now. I think I've done enough cooking. I'll do it some more after Chapter 5, I think. Oh, I forgot to talk to Jolie. I'm dumb. I want to see if she says something about being ready to fight uh, Prince Mush. Or she doesn't say it as she's at the juice bar. Yeah, she doesn't say anything. I hope his music sounds good, though. Also, so this is a brand new fight. <laughs> I don't know what I'm expecting. Hopefully it's fun, though. I'll try not to beat him too fast, because I just want to see all the things that he can do. Oh, dang, I should have Goombell out. <laughs> My bad. Oh, well. Should have been too bad to swap out. She's gonna say, like, My brother. I mean, um, Prince Mush. Okay, she didn't flub it up there. I thought she might have. Where's my belt? I want to wear my belt. This music sounds kind of cool. I like how it's an all toad audience. That's good for me. Oh yeah, look at him. He's all amped. Ninety-six HP. What? Well, what? Six defense. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> Try to rely on super guards. I wonder, yeah, I wonder why. That'd be cool if you can give him cake. I do have some cake items. Nice. I wonder what that stance means. Maybe it just means certain moves he'll do in that stance? Because it, it reminds me kind of like a, when you use a repel cape in the original game. You move side to side a little bit like that. Okay. Let's go... So I think I'm actually going to want uh, Miss Mouse Pierce's defense. Let me go for T's though. I want to see what his dizzy 
looks like. Oh, doesn't seem like he's affected by it. Hmm, this doesn't really show what he's gonna do. Yeah, using the D-pad on the Pro Controller feels much better to do this for. Yeah, 4-3, that's crazy. At least Miss Mouse is really good for this fight. <gasps> you can dodge moves? That's not cool. Did I just lose FP from that? <laughs> That's cool. Come on, man. You can't be dodging my moves like that. That's not fair. Does it mean only certain moves can be hit in that stance? Maybe I have to jump on them. Yeah, that's probably what it means. Let's swap out to... Lylebert? Whoa! I was wondering if he was gonna have some like similar stuff to uh, the Master in 64. That kind of reminded me about that. I just realized my HP is low. Uh, I'll have... So does that mean I can do this? Does it mean to be me burned? What? Uh, he needs to heal me. Use mushroom cake on me. Or Mario, to be more specific. I think both of these guys are me. Because I'm playing as them. Now we can jump on him. Holy cow! That is like the master's move. Holy cow. Yeah, maybe I'm doing this fight a little earlier than I should be. Damn. Maybe I should have had a soft stomp on. Yeah, six defense. That's crazy. No other enemy has that much defense in this game that I can think of. I need him in that other stance. I guess I could swap to uh, Vivian. I say, uh, yeah, because I got rid of. What is that other thing? A A A B A. I got rid of uh, the Bushi. Don't want him using that move on me. He gets stack charges. Uh oh. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. <laughs> Vivian reacting to me dying. I. <laughs> that is crazy, dude. What do I do for this fight? But a pittance of one coin. Mm, I could try soft stomp. Because, yeah, having fire drive is not going to work. Hmm. I really hope. No, statuses don't really seem to work on him. I'm gonna try soft stomp because he has so much defense, I would hope it does. Uh, I guess I'll have uh, last end on. I'll try one more time, but I mean, if I'm not able to f do this fight, I just won't do it.
Oh, oh. I wonder if we get something cool out of this. So that means you jump on him. Let me, uh, power lift and then, uh, Lyobert will jump on him. Ah, oh, dang it. I think I did down left on the D pad. Almost got 4 4 there if I didn't mess up with the poison mushroom. Is he even gonna do damage with all his defense? Nope. If it doesn't let me inflict stomp on him, that's crazy. So I don't think I can jump on him when he's in this phase. Yeah. He needs to be in the other phase. Which means I can gulp him at least. He can block what the This guy's a super cheeser, dude. Doesn't let me do anything. Okay. No, he still has that defense. <laughs> dude, this fight's a bowl. So if I do this again, he's just gonna block it. Yeah, what a bunch of baloney this fight is. There we go. You got a super guard to make him stop. Oh, he loses his confidence when you super guard him. Oh. I don't know if his defense drops. I guess I'll check. Okay, he loses all defense. It's a shame because I wish uh, Lyobert was a little bit more powered up, but. Oh well. I guess that's why Goombella mentioned to super guard him. Uh, should I go for the sweet treat or heal? I guess I'll go for the sweet treat. Oh, that was close. I guess I'll just have to defend. You just gotta wait for the attack. Ah, oh, dang it. Let me uh, switch to. What is it supposed to be? Flurry? Oh, I will take that. Okay, I think it's actually better. It has one extra turn of it. Whereas, uh, I think Slow Trim only does nine or something. So, I kind of take back what I said about Couples Cake. It's a one turn better, but... Okay, with that, I think you can attack him with a hammer? I'm probably just better off appealing. Oh, that's right. I need to be super guarding these hits. That's right. He's in that stance where you have to jump on him. Does this count as jumping on him? 
It does, but he has that defense. Ah, dang it. I thought I got the super guard. I guess we'll just appeal. Can't really do much to him. I guess I'll go for sweet. Maybe I should go for power lift. Yeah, let's try doing that. Good. Got my SP back. Oh, you know what? I could probably heart attack him. Let me try that. <laughs> I'd be surprised if you can avoid this. I did some decent damage. There we go. I think I'm gonna swap to... Hmm. I'll switch to Lylebert. Dang it, I was hoping to super guard that. Oh, he's in the jump phase. Um, should I just appeal? Probably. I think I'll just have both of us appeal this turn. Ah, oh, dang it. I can get that timing better. Should I use an item? I mean, I could throw this, I guess. Still does four. Well, at least I mean you can hit him with it at least. Could use it on Mario, but want to have Yoshi healed up a little. There we go. I think I'll go for a uh, power lift now while he's down. That way, Lyle Burke can do tons of damage. Oh, 
I almost got 4-4 with that. Dang. That would be my record if I got a 4-4. Let's go for the damage. That's great. If I can get one more super guard, that'd be awesome. Oh no. <laughs> Lyobird survived. Yo, what is this? Come on, man. He can't... <laughs> He's a little cheater. You know, this is what we're gonna do. He's gonna trial stew for me. I'm gonna get my SP back. He was already at 1 HP, so that's fine. And now... We can art attack. And next turn, I think I can use the uh, Thunder Rage and kill him. And I kill him, but take him down. What? This cheeser made himself immune to special moves. What baloney is this? How was I supposed to know they were going to make him immune? That is baloney, dude. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I'll end it there. <laughs> My... Uh, that is so ridiculous. Just made him immune to a move that he wasn't immune to before? What kind of bullshit is your brother going on, Jolene? I kind of don't want to save. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.